Hello, beautiful people. I was thinking, no, this has got to be a mistake. There's absolutely no way Meghan Markle will do this because that would be opening herself up for ridicule. YouTube, really? Really? But then, it turns out that she's seriously considering going into becoming a YouTuber because she feels, she feels that she can actually contribute something to it and that the world needs to hear directly from her. Do you think she'll have comments enabled in her videos or that she'd be able to do unscripted and answer direct questions like the other Markle members of her family do? Let's dig a little bit into this because, I mean, she's been after us YouTubers who basically call out her lies for a long time. So it's going to be fun about her becoming a YouTuber. It was really scary. Like at every possible opportunity, the forces that were working against us tried to make it impossible. Did I expect to find ourselves in this situation so quickly? No. I think we've done a really good job. And I have no regrets. It's, it's incredibly sad, but I have no regrets at all because now I'm in, the, in a place where I feel as though I should have been four years ago. Yeah, before, before we get into the YouTubing thing about Meghan Markle, I just wanted to talk and touch a little bit about this little clip that you just saw about Harry saying, that it was hard for him to make the move to the United States, but once the, he's done it, he doesn't regret it. And that the only regret he has is that he didn't do it four years earlier. So what is this BS that we hear about him saying now that the UK is always going to be his home, that he was forced out of the United Kingdom? I want to bring this up a little bit, guys, because... Um, Mainstream media, now I've heard, are going on about, oh my God, it's Harry's home. He wants to come back. I mean, how many times has this man said that he hates England? That he hates England. And then I heard something on, on, on another Sussex Squad thing saying that Harry didn't want the titles. He hated the titles. And that Meghan Markle doesn't want to be associated to the royal family yet call her duchess. I mean, the hypocrisy of it all, the hypocrisy of it all, it's outstanding, you know, is outstanding. I mean, I, I, I can't. So for people who are still defending Harry, how many more times must he say that he hates England, that he's happy he fled? Remember the freedom flight? For people to get it, especially mainstream media, I see people and re really, really um, reporters that I like talking about Harry's comeback. I don't know about you, but I mean, what the hell is that all about? Because it's actually quite disgusting. I mean, what do you guys think of this topic? Because I am baffled by that. I'm really baffled by that. Social beautiful people, guess where we are. I've done many, many videos about this, so you should know where we are right now. Isn't that, look at that, look at that, guys. Where are we? I've done many videos from here. You should know, you should know. That was a beautiful place, guys. It's, it's um. You, let's see if you can name which beach is that because I have featured that beach many, many times. So please tell me in your comments which beach is that because as I said, I've talked about it before. Now, let's get into the Meghan Markle debacle about YouTube. Yes, Meghan Markle is seriously thinking of coming to YouTube. I guess because Archwell um, the archetypes did so well that she thinks she's going to do better at YouTube. Keep in mind that she had 28 producers for Arch for the archetypes thing. She had tons of money thrown 
by Spotify to these producers. And let's not forget how it all ended with Bill Simmons stating that they were lazy fucking grifters. And today in the live that we did in the Royal Mess, please go watch it with Anti Lawyer, Thomas Markle, The Aftermath, Tina, Andrew POV. We had a fantastic live. Um, Anti Lawyer, the gentleman from the Blind Items, the Crazy Nights, Days and Nights website, which is fantastic. Go, go check it out. Um, and go check out his podcast. It's awesome. Um, he stated that Meghan Markle, you remember that $20 million deal with Spotify and the $100, $100 million deal with Netflix? Well, the $20 million Spotify deal, turns out that she got about, only about $1 million. About. That is pocket change for Meghan Markle, given how she goes through money and all the expenses, the plastic surgeries, everything she has to do. Now, with 28 producers for the Spotify deal and getting stars, because she was supposed to be doing it for to save the world, because she finds her, she, she thinks herself as Angelina Jolie on steroids, saving the world, which is all BS. I firmly believe that the reason Meghan Markle failed at that archetypes thing is because when they left the royal family, remember when they told the queen a service is universal? You know, you, we don't have to be part of the royal family to service. They haven't served anybody. Meghan Markle has been all about self-service. That's it. So it's, why would she have Andrew, and Andy Cohen? Why would she have Paris Hilton, Mariah Carey? What happened with working with grassroots organization, little known people? No. Of course she didn't want to. So this is why she failed, because she's trying to say, I am here to save the world, while all she did was settle score using certain words that were said to her throughout her life and still are being said to her now. It was a phony, fake, false crap that she had, which is why it failed, because there's nothing interesting about Meghan Markle. So now she wants to come into YouTube because she thinks, I mean, she has tried to cancel pretty much all of us Mexiteers. Andy, Andy from 88 POV was demonetized, but thankfully he got his thing back. Megan's mole is demonetized. Hopefully she'll get it back in January. Everybody, ha we have gone through strikes to copyright this, not, not even copyright, and, and it's falsely claimed as copyright because they can't claim anything else. So Meghan Markle, I mean, let's not forget Yankee Wally. So we have all gone through that and there's a lot of censorship, but we have seen Meghan Markle's sugars. Remember that video I showed you of that Jez Wu woman? who was saying that she was glad the queen was dead and that all of the royal family should die now because the sooner they die, the better. If I were to say that myself and wish it on people, oof. I mean, you guys have no idea the censorship would go through. So maybe Meghan Markle is thinking that she won't have any censorship thrown at her because of who she is, because we know she's happy to cancel people. She managed to get Pierce Morgan canceled, Sharon Osbourne, among others, for daring to call her out on her lies. So now she, she truly believes that by becoming a YouTuber, she's going to, you know, be the biggest YouTuber ever. Because let's not forget Meghan Markle. Everything is pompous about her. It's like, uh, this lady Hansen who, who quit, it was the global PR guru. I mean, the brand, the, the, the job titles are grandiose, like Meghan Markle insanity. So she truly believes she's the biggest star there is and she's angry people can't see that. So she truly believes that by coming to YouTube, she's going to be, she's going to break the YouTube channel because everybody's going to flock to her channel. Let's not forget, do you guys remember when that Mar Megan uh, moniker on Instagram, do you know why it's not going on anymore? You don't hear about that anymore because it didn't gather even 200,000 followers. 
Yes, my channel is small. I know what you're going to say. I know what the sugars are going to say. Oh, Bella, you don't even have 100,000 subscribers. Yes, but I am not married to a man who has the biggest platform on earth. And Meghan Markle couldn't even get 200,000 subscribers on Instagram. And that thing ran like crazy. Do you guys think that Meghan Markle, if she joins YouTube, is going to break YouTube and she's going to have millions because she thinks she's going to have more subscribers than the, than the Prince and Princess of Wales YouTube channel, which is insane. This is because, you know, when the Instagram Sussex Royal, they got 8 million or something like that, right? Or 9 million or whatever, 6 million or something like that. But that's when she was part of the royal family. I don't think she, she'll do that because I don't think people will want to be subscribed unless she buys bots. But then again, YouTube does not allow you to buy bots like that. You know, she's not going to make real money. And I mean, if I hope she does come to YouTube because we're going to have a lot of content. And I don't believe that she will. I don't believe that she will enable comments, guys. <laughs> and I mean, can you believe that? I mean, we will have a field day with this because she couldn't even make it work with Spotify, with so much money thrown at her, with 28 producers. But she thinks she's going to make it work on YouTube by producing it all herself. I mean, it's going to be insanity at its finest, in my very humble opinion. Do you think that she will enable comments if she comes into YouTube? Do you think she'll do live and answer questions like we do? Especially when the sugars come in our channels and they trash the hell out of us. I mean, it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny because this woman, the only thing that she breaks is the bank and she breaks Harry and she, you know, she, the only knows, the only thing that she knows how to break is break up families, break up friendships. There's nothing. There's no breaking the internet. There's no breaking YouTube because Meghan Markle has joined YouTube. Do you think she'll join it as the Duchess of Sussex? Because of course she needs the title that very same title that all the sugars trash the other royals who are working for real and serving and they service for real and they serve us for real unlike her who self-serves self-serving person please let me know what you think it's gonna be interesting if she goes ahead with this because she's dead serious about this and she's in talks with YouTube because she wants it to be that when she hits the air, or the, the, the YouTube, she wants at least 1 million subscribers. YouTube can't do that. It's illegal. She has to get the subscribers herself. People who want to be part of her channel, who want to listen to her. I don't know if people are going to make fake accounts, just, you know, her sugars, just to join and post her numbers. But I don't know. I don't know because YouTube is a funny place, guys. Let me tell you. So what do you beautiful people think? Please let me know. Ha, 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 ha.